Hi, my name is Yakin Ayman Mir Yusuf. So, today I want to talk about our automation system project which is stamping labeling system in career service. The system consists of conveyor belt driven by a motor. The conveyor used to lead the product to the labeling base. The labeling assembly becomes activated when the product hits the labeling foundation, which combination of two pneumatic pistons combined with a stem. Then, place the stem on the ink pad of the labeling assembly and then transfer the stem onto the product. This labeling stamping machine is designed for a plastic non-metal product. Furthermore, this device is operated by PLC and equipped with a proximity sensor to detect product nearby when the process flows. The PLC is used to detect the product at first stage and by controlling the conveyor accordingly, transfer the product through the device. So, to operate the stamping machine, the description of the PLC system and runtime test cases are needed. Okay, next we go to the components used in this system. Firstly, the component used in this system is a double acting cylinder. For this stamping system, a low pressure air compressor without a tank is appropriate and an external air tank and non return valve are attached to it in order to maintain steady pressure. Second component is the 5 2 way double solenoid valve. For cylinder control, the simplest method is to use for double acting cylinder is 5 2 way double solenoid valve. So, this valve is chosen for this project. Next is the proximity sensor. The proximity sensor is placed under the conveyor belt 1 to sense the presence or absence of the item before it continues to the conveyor belt 2. After working action, it moves to the destination and touch the limit switch. The limit switch is positioned near the end of the conveyor belt 2. When the limit switch is hit in the enclosure, the buzzer wants. Other than that, DC motor is used in the system for running the conveyor belt mechanism with stable speed in RPM. Furthermore, relays are used where a circuit must be controlled by a separate low power signal or where several circuits must be controlled by one signal. We also use timer as a, co as a component in this project. In this stamping machine, a delay time is set after the three items are counted by the proximity sensor. Then, during the stamping action, a delay time is set. Next is PLC. PLC is used to detect the product, move the product to the system by accordingly operating the conveyors, operate the stamping machine, and move to the move the product to the final tray. Lastly, we use the ladder logic as a programming language for PLC. So the ladder the ladder logic is used in this stamping system to execute logical, sequential, counting, timing, and arithmetic tasks in order to carry industrial automation application. Hello, I am Fasia Tunisa. I would like to explain about PLC ladder diagram description. Based on the first stage, when start button is pressed, the cycle will start. And then, the relay cycle is on as to make it latch. For the stop button, it will activate if the system is shut down. As the cycle is start running, the conveyor 2 will start running too. And then, as long as the cycle is operate, the green lamp will activate. If a fault occurs at cycle, and then the red lamp is activate. Next, when conveyor 2 continues running, and then the sensor 1, proximity sensor 1, at position 1 has not detected the box pass through, the conveyor 2 will be operate. Next, when the box pass through position 1, which detected by proximity sensor, the conveyor 1 will stop. And then, the on delay timer will start to activate and count in 1.5 second, which is preset is 150. After the preset timer expired, the conveyor 1 will start operating back. But... When conveyor 2 shut down, the off delay timer for conveyor 1 will be execute and start count in 30 seconds which preset is 3000. After the preset timer expired, the conveyor 1 will stop operate. Next, when box reach position 2, the limit switch 1 is touched by box will detect which then the limit switch AO will trigger and then the relay call that whole solenoid Y1 and Y3 will activate. 
when the K1 is activated and the solenoid 1 will energize, which then the stamper cylinder A move downward. The on delay timer of solenoid Y1 will activate and start count in 1.5 seconds, which PZ is 150. After the PZ timer expired, the stamper cylinder A hit limit switch A1, which triggered it and energized solenoid Y3. The solenoid Y3 will activate and the stamper cylinder B will extend. The on delay timer will activate and start count in 1.5 seconds, which PZ is 150. After the PZ timer expired, the stamper cylinder B hit limit switch B1 will trigger and relay coil K2 that whole solenoid Y2 and Y4 will activate. The K2 is activated and the solenoid Y4 is energized, which then the stamper cylinder B retract back to the normal position. After the stamper cylinder B retract and hit limit switch B0, which triggered it and energized solenoid Y2, the stamper cylinder will retract to, which move upward and back to the normal position. Lastly, for round 017, the program will end. Hi, my name is Wan Roshaira and I will continue with the discussion of our system. As we know, stamping labeling machine is widely used in application of packaging, transportation and logistic. In this system, we use electronomatic to design circuit as it Use electrical energy to operate or to run the components such as relay, sensor, push button, solenoid and many others on. There is voltage that will be applied to the solenoid directional control valve to supply compressed air to the actuator which is double acting cylinder. Before we proceed to into the discussion of this system, let me tell you about the problem occurs in the earlier system. First, there are many boxes ended in reject tray as they have no label stem on top and the side of the box. So there will there might be a problem in the delivery system since there are no information of customer. Second problem is the distance between boxes is too close. So it might be the reason why the label did not stem onto the product. To overcome these two problems, we need to redesign or rebuild the ladder diagram and the wall system. However, there are challenges in order to solve the problem. Challenge, the first challenge is the constructed ladder diagram will be long and complicated because the use of various type of pneumatic components. The ladder diagram also need to consider the multiple stamping sequence operation. Second challenge is the system use PLC as controller. So we had difficulties to interpret the PLC instruction because we need to ensure the input and output module are placed or arranged correctly in the rung. The third challenge is we need to initialize the accurate delay time of system because of the problem stated earlier. So the solution is we need to run a few tests on machine and product to analyze and investigate the possibility of error. We also need to ensure the other components in the system such as conveyor, rail guard, motor are inspect during the testing operation. We also need to run a few tests on ladder diagram that we construct using Automation Studio software. We have reached at the end of this video. As a conclusion, this system will succeed in a part of industrial automation where it helps industry to improve their quality and increase human safety. The use of PLC as controller allow the controller to gather input and output data from the machine so it can be analyzed and reviewed by human to find out the cause of the error so they can improve in the future. Hence, the system succeeds as the overall automated system perform efficiently in achieve high output and accuracy in production. That's all. Thank you and selamat berpuasa. Bye.